it's like you know already what's the truth but then uh, we just still keep on going back to the our old self together to learn another lesson from the Bible. So for this afternoon, uh, we're gonna study about the first covenant and the new covenant. Now, kung may the covenant, uh, it means an agreement, a contract, or in the Bible, it's a promise from God. Now, so so first na verse, uh, it says here that in that he says a new covenant he has made the first obsolete now what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away so in this verse uh, we can see that there is a promise from God that he will give us a new covenant since the first covenant is already old or obsolete na siya, and soon it will be vanished away and dili na siya practice now we know that God's character never change. Because He is perfect, whatever He made or He will say will always be true and correct, wherein no mistakes can be found, and He will never break nor change any of His commandments. So, sa next palim ko basa. Now, uh, from if move base ta sa first na verse, medyo libog siya no kay, di ba? It says sa first nga, uh, ilisan maghatag si God o bago nga covenant since the old one is kanang karaan na, the need na siya ilisan. But on the second one po, it's uh, sa second na verse, it says here that my covenant I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. So, malibog ta kay sa first, iyang ilisan, but on this verse, he said nga, wala siya'y i-break kung unsa to iyahang covenant, or i-alter whatever nga nigawas na sa iyahang, or unsa na iyang disulti. Now, as we go along with the study, medyo confusing is siya right now with these two verses, but... As we go along with the study, we will learn then what is really the meaning of these verses. So, the law was made to bring a perfect, sinless, and righteous life, but no Israelites was able to fulfill until Jesus came. He was the first and last to accomplish. So, palil ko read. So in this verse, uh, niingon siya nga, wala siya ni Anhi to just destroy what he has already made na covenant, but instead, he will fulfill what is needed to be done. So the old covenant was intended to lead to the new covenant. That transition is not to eradicate what has God has spoken, but rather to complete its purpose. Mm -hmm. Then, next, palihid ko, agree. Actually, the Lord loves us dearly that kanang, He wants us bitaw to have that wisdom na madiscern na to what is good and what is bad. Then, on our part, we need to kanabitang dapat, we need to really understand what is really uh, in the Bible and not just kanabitang mukha lang taggamay nga knowledge, then kanabitang diligid bitaw siya as a whole. So, we need to understand what is written in the Bible as a whole so that we can understand what the Lord really wants us to do or kung unsa ginang iyahang commandments so that uh, it will help us nga ma-increase atong faith and ma-avoid bitaw na to nga later on mag-backslide ta from kung unsa ang atong mga natunaan. 
Now, the new covenant is a covenant of sovereign grace and it is accomplished what the law and the old covenant could never do. Now, first, we'll magkwansa ta. Covenant means a promise or a contract. Now, it's not our covenant, but rather, God says, my covenant. Uh, nga nung igiinan ni man pagkaingon ni God, nga iyahang covenant. It's because uh, all of us, di ba, we are all sinners. None of us is righteous. So, nakita na ni God nga in the long run, we will really fall into sin. So, uh, mo nang ang iyang pagkaingon is iyahang covenant. Okay, if both, kumayong nga siyang our covenant, it should be si God mutuman anong covenant o kita po, mutuman kita always which is, dili gina siya mahitabo kay most likely ma makasala kita so dili gina to matuman kung unsa ang sugo sa ginoo now God never change and God keeps His promises and that God's law is forever, so always na na to i, ibutang sa atong mind na never did mo change ang ginoo then Whatever, since he is perfect by and he is all-knowing, whatever nga iyahang iingon or ang iya nang nabuhat, mo gina siya ang kanabitang kamatuuran, mo gina siya ang truth, o dili gina siya, never pagit siya na sayo. So, next, palihu ko, read. Ang ina ka doon ang maandang mabut na, nagayang siya ba? So, dani nga verse, uh, niingon di ba si God, kato yung promise nga, He will give us a new covenant, then, in here, dili siya same kung unsa to yung first na covenant nga, nga nahatag sa ato ah. Kung dili, it's a new one since ang covenant niya is more on bitong kanang personal relationship na nato sa iya ha. Since uh, his law, kung sa yung mga commandments, iya mangin siyang ibutang not just in our minds but also in our hearts. Now, the new covenant is a personal relationship with God since He will put the law in our inward parts and write it in our hearts in a way that we will have the true heart to accept and love Jesus as our Savior, which will make us easy to obey and follow His commandments. So, di ba kung, kung sa huna-huna lang na to, most likely, makalimot kita. But then, si God, Ang iyang gibuhat sa new commandment is iyan na yung instill not just to our minds but also in our hearts because ang heart gibaya maski ba mo deny ka it will show gibaya sa imong heart so ang heart never gid siya kanabitong makalimot and mo gid siya mostly ang mo prevail so now if we have that like if we have Jesus in our not just in our mind but in our hearts as well then it will be more easier for us to go to do godly words or godly deeds. Mas sayon sa ato bitaw nga tumano ng iyahang mga pulong o iyahang mga commandments. Now, God said that if the people will obey and keep His covenant, He will make them His special treasure above all the rest. So, pariw ko basa. Sa sa karun, kumabang mong magpataling mong kayo sa akong hindi mo, magpapay ka mo sa akong hindi mo, Nagpapahalaan 
So in this verse, it was actually made for the faithful Israelites and future generations. We're in Nimon God that if they will submit to God, obey, and follow His commandments, and keep His covenant, in return, He will help them, bless them, and protect them, which only our Creator, si Jesus, ang makabuhat. Now, they will receive blessings of priesthood and become a holy nation. So, kanabitang nagi promise si God that whoever will really kanabitang faithfully follow Him, obey Him, and kanabitang mo trust lang gid sa ila, sa iyaha, in the long run, He will really bless that person. So, mo na siya iyahang saad. Now, in the Old Testament, the first covenant were sealed through the sacrificial blood of an offered animal, such as katong oxen or ang lamb. Through this ritual, using the sacrificial blood represents Jesus. So, pala ko read. Kung nagsubo siya, kung mga batang lalaki sa mga anak sa Israel, na nalagahalad o mga parutan, sinunuko, halad sila, o mga halad sa pagigait sa mga bakahalang kang Yehova. people they always say bitaw nga they will obey and follow Jesus but then god knows that none is righteous diba all, uh, all are sinners so kabalo gid si god that eventually the people will fall into sin so makasala gyud in the long run dili nila makip ang tanang commandments ni god and makasala sila so that is why he made the first covenant were in in order for the people to be forgiven from their sins, an innocent animal will be killed and its blood will become a sacrificial blood which will represent the blood of Jesus. So, mo siya ang first covenant kanang gihatag siya ni God sa ilaha para in a way, if makasala sila, they will be forgiven through that offering nga kuan, nga kanang ceremonial nga kuan nga. They will offer an innocent animal such as katung lamb or oxen, then ikil siya and through the blood of that animal, which kind of itong symbolizes the blood of Jesus, nga mo'y makapalimpyo sa ilang sala. Mauto siya before ang ilahang kanang way of kind of itong para ma-forgive sila sa ilahang sin. So in here, we know that the blood is the kanang siya ang symbolize sa, sa covenant. Now, first covenant made Sumotusha with the blood of animal. So through the offering of an innocent animal, nga pagkibalik sa katung sinner, magdala siya animal. Then iyang ihunghong ang iyang sala sa katung animal. Then ayat din yah siya mismo ang upatay. Then with the blood, moto yung i offer. Then the high priest will be the one to offer ng katung mag iyang iwisik iwisik bito ang blood dito sa tabil. Then, more inana ilang way para ma-forgive ka sa sin. Now, the new covenant, it will come after those days. So, unsa man is siyang those days? So, mo ni siyang event wherein katubitong gi-fulfill as what Jesus said that wala niya guba ang old covenant. Instead, iyahang i-fulfill because in the kanang sa sa so, um, umaabot nga mga time is siya ang mahimo nga animal nga i-offer. It is Jesus who will kind of itong sacrifice his life. So, Monish, after those days, the new covenant will take effect after Jesus died at the cross dito sa Calvary. 
Now, the new covenant then, mawag siyang ang blood of Jesus na ang symbolize sa new covenant. Then, along with it, there is that promise of God also that instead of kanang the previous bito nila nga ginabot na mag-offer o kanang innocent na animal through that blood, is kanang ang law niya is ibutang na niya git sa ato ang hearts in our minds nga para sure gid nga mas more on ta kana bitong dili na to siya malintan now Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice he became the final and complete sacrifice for our sins when he died on the cross all our sins were transferred to him so in a way he died in our place which saved us from death so instead nga di ba kita ang nakasala Dapat mangutan na kita, di ba, ang mamatay. But because the Lord loves us, gi-offer niya iyahang only begotten son, which is Jesus, nga through Jesus' life, ang iyang kamatayon, masave ta through death. Now, paliw ko, Greed. Kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya-kaya
siya na gaymon, Wagot ra ang mga alaw na gaymon ang ginuho, Mapagalimuhon ko ang usa kabagong pagsulaan, Upang sa kawalan ni Israel, At sa kawalan ni Juda, Diliin ko sa pagsaan na gihimu ko, Upang sa ilang mga hindikanan, Nilagto ang kumalaw sa akong pangunit, Sa kanila sa pangunit, So, ang kanisha actually nga verses, uh, some of the verses here, naana siya ganina sa previous na slide. So, kung makita na to, isa da ni is, ang pakigsaad wala pa'y kulang. So, actually, ang katong Old Covenant, wala man kulang sa iya ha. If we will truly understand yung bito ang First Covenant of New Covenant, we will know then that it is not that the First Covenant or the Law of God that was lacking, rather it is us, the people, who are not able to obey and follow His commandments. So, actually, dili gid ang Law ni God, dili ang First Covenant ang nagkulang. Dili siya. It's just that kita as kanang tao, we are kanabitang by nature, kita ang nagkulang since we are born sinners. So, naagid sa ato aman ang pagkulang. O, nang, but since the Lord love, loves us dearly, gihimo na niya ang mga covenants, mga promise, mga agreement na to between Him. Because gusto niya, He wants us to give a chance nga ma-redeem na to atong selves and ma kanabitang makarepenta on whatever sins we have mo nang naanang ga exist ng first covenant o katong gihatag niya nga new covenant tungod kay nagkulang man gud ta di ba dili ta gyud dili gyud ta maka obey sa iya ha nga dire diretso so the moment that we fail since the lord loves us mangita siya pamaagi we're in makabalik na pud ta sa iya ha inana tanaga ka love we always fall into sin but since Jesus is a loving and merciful God, He is always there to give us new hope. He was ready to die for us, to save us from our sins. Now, as a recap, we need to realize that God loves us dearly, that He made this covenant for us to be saved from the penalty of our sins. So, inanagita ka love ni God, nga dili niya gusto nga, basta-basta lang bito ta mapildik and mapaingon ta sa sa bad nga side or mafall ta kay Satan. But rather, gusto niya nga ma-save ta the, mom the moment we fail, gusto niya nga ibangon bitaw ta niya. Then, the first covenant, the ceremonial laws, and the offerings, they are just shadow of the good things to come, which is Jesus. So, dapat ibutang na to sa mind nga, karabitang, ang buot pa sabot atong sa first na verse nga, i-vanish na niya ang first covenant kay obsolete na. Ang, iba, ang iwala ng manya ato is the ceremonial kanang offering itself. Like, kato lang magpagpatay sa kanang innocent ka animal nga i-offer. That's the only ko ang may give ang meaning ato. But it is not the law itself good. Now, there's the promise that Jesus, who is our Savior and Redeemer, Redeemer, will free us from all our sins and all we need to do is to faithfully obey lang good, follow God, and keep His commandments. For we know that only Jesus can fulfill what is needed to be done. So I hope that little by little, kana bitong ma-realize na to how important it is to really follow His way. It's like you know already what's the truth, but then uh, we still keep on going back to the our old